Oh, who say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the heart? Performing our national anthem, that was Skylar Cole. And now we'll be back in just a moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Help, huh. Fella like it's me against the world, but I can give a f who my opponent is. And I came here to change it Big my belief, now they calling it dangerous Taking a throne and I'm gonna maintain it I gotta go down to just one of the press Takes flying goal down Clear the deck, deck cleared Alright everyone, greetings from 2K Sports Get ready for some NBA action with Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce is our reporter. Now a moment to take a look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it's been trending for Tobias Harris. And the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. That's not what you want, and I'm sure it's something he's well aware of. And we have a minute to catch up with our reporter. What do you have for us, Allie? The Bucks' Chris Middleton has a fan and head coach, Mike Budenholzer. Bud said, quote, he's the ultimate professional, so consistent, and he does it in a lot of different ways. At the same time, he is a great leader. The scoring and the threes, everybody sees, but I like how he's taken on leadership. Brian? Well, he's a key player for them, Allie. Well, when we look at tonight, this could come down to the backcourts, Grant. They're both very talented. Yeah, B.A., you know I love great guard play. And, of course, each team has some serious skills at that position. So expect a fast pace of play, lots of threes. <laughs> it should be one heck of a matchup. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. Thibel and Harris at the three and the four. Tyrese Mack. Maxi is out there with James Harden. And it's Embiid in at the five spot. And for the Bucks, inside at the four and five, it's Giannis and Portis. Drew Holiday out there with Gary Payton second. And it's Middleton in at the three. And it's the Sixers to start out. Holiday against Harden. Pass to Maxi. And out of bounds. Milwaukee will have it. against Holiday. Now here's Portis. Outside Payton. Three-pointer is up. Middleton. And James Harden pulls it down. Outside Tybal. Five to shoot. Goes up on the baseline. The rebound by the Bucks. Here's Anadokounmpo. Really played well against Orlando in his last game. Three-pointer is up. Middleton. And the three-pointer goes. Boy, when you got the jump shot to Chris Middleton, man, you're always a weapon, which means you help create spacing for your teammates. Now here's Maxi. Turned in an outstanding game against Dallas. Harden against Holiday. Harden, the pass to Maxi. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. Boy, Harden's got such a tremendous feel for the game and sees the whole court. He's a really slick creator. Just over a minute and a half in. Back to Ana Kumpo. to Middleton over Thibel Middleton no good 
Well, you know he wants that one back. I mean, more often than not, he'll sink that mid-range jumper. The rise of Chris Middleton has been fantastic to watch. He's proven to be a very skilled two-way threat and a lethal clutch score. Now here's Holiday. We saw him with 19 his last time out. And the shot goes down. So many different ways that Holiday can beat you because he's got great length and size for a guard, and that allows him not to be afraid to mix it up inside. Here's Harden. It's a three-point game. Outside Tybal. Fires for three. The rebound by Peyton. And let's not forget, Middleton is a former second-round pick. Bump. And he's had to work harder because of that, B.A., and that's part of what has led to his greatness, the fact that he's had to work so hard to prove to himself and to others that he belongs. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes, a sign of a skilled offensive player. That's his first personal foul. At the line for the Bucks, Giannis Antetokounmpo. At the line for Wolves, Everybody knows Giannis is elite, but just in case you have any doubt, he's got a trophy case you'd need almost the whole team to lift. Now here's Harden. He's been an important part of this offense, averaging around 22 points a game. Screen by Embiid. Harden, the pass to Embiid. And Embiid with the slam. Boy, this big guy, Joel Embiid, is a center with an awesome dunking arsenal. And that was our AT&T 5G Slam Cam, bringing you the sauce. For Milwaukee, they've gone three of five here in the opening quarter. Well, Clark, honor to Kumpo's awards, certainly do put him in some rare company. Along with Jordan and Akeem, the dream. B.A., I mean, Giannis is one of three players ever to win MVP, finals MVP, and defensive player of the year. Rarified air indeed. Back to Maxi. Over Payton. Off the left rim and out. Milwaukee has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Takes the three. That one no good. Well, he has not been sharp this period. Seems to be a little flustered out there, too. Harden finds Maxi. Milwaukee with the rebound. Their last game, a win against the Magic. Looking to carry it into this one. Talk about strong offensive production. They went out, played to their strengths, and were successful as a result. Yeah, you know, not deviating from the game plan is critical. You've got to trust in the system. Milwaukee, no good that time either. For Philadelphia, they've gone two for seven. A sluggish start. Here's Harden. And no good. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. Outside Peyton. Pass to Middleton. Honor to Kumpo against Harris. Honor to Kumpo inside. Portis for three. The rebound by Maxi. The Sixers trailing. Inside. That's good from Embiid on the assist from Maxi. Embiid's got his second basket of the night. Already finding his spots and capitalizing, playing really efficient basketball. Timeout called. Milwaukee.
we have a pause in the action. Let's take a look at the premier ball thieves at the shooting guard position over the last month. Well, you look at Peyton, fifth in the NBA, a pest on defense. And those steals haven't come just by accident. They've gotten them through the effort they're willing to expend on the defensive side of the ball. Well, the most active hands in the league, I think, belong to those fellas right there. I mean, that is one pesky bunch of pickpockets. Milwaukee in the lead. Holiday passes to Portis. Here's Ante de Kumpo. And Ante de Kumpo with the stuff. For the aggressive approach from Giannis, I like it. Not settling for the layup instead, punching it off. That's the way you do it. Embiid inside. Defended by Portis. And the basket by Embiid. Embiid's got his third basket on the night right there. Milwaukee has gone one for five from three-point range. A cold start. Here's Ana de Kumpo. And that one's long. The 76ers have gone four of ten shooting the rock in this first quarter. You know, for this Bucks team, they seem to play together as well as any team we've seen recently. Yeah, this team has a bunch of players who complement each other very well. And they've got so many different ways that they can play on the floor. That's what makes them so successful. Well, that and Giannis. How about the springs of this guy, Ante de Kumpo, also known as the Greek Freak? I mean, he just gets up off the ground like a rocket on these alley-oop chances. Harris. Up top, Harden. He also had a big impact in that win against the Mavericks. The Bucks shooting just 38% so far in this one. On to Kumpo for three. Philadelphia grabs the miss. They come into this one having outplayed the Mavericks last time out. And most of the arena was totally against them. But they looked inwards, trusted each other, and made good plays. Well, you know, the cohesiveness was evident out there. These guys feel like they can win in any arena. And they proved it that game. Now here's Ana Kumpo. Seven points in the game. Pass to Portis. On the wing, Holiday. Defended by Harden. Four on the clock. Holiday passes to Ana Kumpo. No good. Embiid with a nice defensive effort. Outside Harden. Back to Thibel. Outside Maxi. He nails it. And we're tied. Maxi's got his second basket on the night. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. You know, with that size difference, that's not an easy shot. I mean, I don't care how close to the rim he is, that's a tough shot. Timeout called. Milwaukee. group getting ready for the Bucks. Lopez, he's checked in for Portis. Ibaka comes in for Anadokounmpo. Ingles, he's checked in for Middleton. And it's Connaughton in for Drew Holiday. And a new group getting ready for the Sixers. Pirtles checked in for Joel Embiid. Tucker comes in for Tobias Harris. Milton's checked in for Thibel. And it's Wall in for James Harden. Outside. 
Ingles. Jacks up a three. The rebound by Maxi. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 3 from downtown. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. And the improvement of Tyrese Maxey's three-point shot from his first season to second year, just unprecedented. He improved by over 12% with a huge increase in attempts as well. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. So now they lead by one. And for a player with the speed and quickness of Maxi, Grant leveling up that three-point shot changes everything for him. Oh, so true, B.A. It becomes pick your poison with them. And it put him in a conversation last year from most improved player. Matthews, he's checked in for the Bucks. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. Pass to Ingles. Fires the three. The rebound by Maxi. Maxi's got four rebounds now. Now here's Wall. Let's it go from deep. It's rebounded by Ibaka. Connaughton outside. Here's Ibaka. Outside, Ingles. Tries to snap the cold streak. And Milton pulls it down. The 76ers shooting around 40% early on here. Outside wall. Tucker with a screen on Connaughton. Wall, the pass to Tucker. Off target from outside. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. Here's Matthews. Outside, Ingles. Puts up a three. The rebound by Maxi. Maxi's got his fifth rebound in this one. Let's go with a three. Fires in the triple. Maxi's got nine. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Here's Matthews. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Screen by Ibaka. Angles with it. Picked up by Tucker. And the jam by Ibaka. And this guy, to me, embodies determination. Small at his position, but he still gets up and keeps plays alive. That's mind over matter for sure. Maxi, and there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's on Pat Connaughton. You know, in the past several seasons, there's been one constant with the 76ers. They're going to be among the best defensive teams in the league. The first one falls. The Sixers' identity really does center around their defense. It's so true, B.A., and they've done a great job playing to their strengths. That's the key for any contending team. Maximize your players' talents. Philly has done that as well as anybody. Both free throws good from Maxi. The Bucks trail. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Outside, Ingles. And here's Connaughton for three. That one doesn't drop. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. That's how you want to see them crash the glass. They've been out-hustled so far. And, you know, time will tell how big a factor that becomes in this game, guys. But if you're the coaching staff, it's certainly a point of emphasis. Now here's Wall. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Dallas. Now here's Connaughton. 152 left in the opening quarter. Took the opportunity when he saw it. And Matthews crosses up the defense with his catch and shoot Jay. Can't afford to lay off of him. Pass to Pirtle. And here is Maxi. Tried to 
come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Here's Matthews. Connaughton passes to Ibaka. Now here's Ingles. Here's Connaughton. Just five on the clock. The Bucks need to get up a shot here. No good off the back of the rim. The Sixers leading. Maxi passes to Tucker. Milton against Ingles. Outside Maxi for three. Pure from three point range. Maxi's got 14 points for the game. He's going off this quarter. A huge reason why this team is on top. Pass to Ingles. Ibaka with a screen on Milton. Here's Ingles. Oh, the teardrop falls in. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. Here's Wall. The kick out to Milton. Lopez against Pirtle. Outside Maxi. Here's the three. It's rebounded by Ibaka. Here's Matthews. There's the three. What a performance for Tyrese Maxey. He has been the story for Philadelphia. He had solid production this quarter with scoring and rebounding. We'll be right back. teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far and let's get your take guys on the scoring breakdown for the 76ers in the early goings their effort level has been exceptional the speeding around the defense and opening up options with good penetration one other thing they've done really well moving the ball around they've done a nice job not settling for that initial option and making that extra pass taking a look at Philadelphia Harden and Thibel are out on the wing Harris and Embiid are playing up front, and it's Wall in at the point guard position. Outside Holiday. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That's on Joel Embiid. You know, in the case of Drew Holiday, having two brothers in the league, I think, probably has added motivation for him to excel. And Grant, last season, Drew Holiday winning the NBA Teammate of the Year award for the second time. Yeah, and in 2021, B.A., he got the NBA Sportsmanship Award, too. So needless to say, Holiday tremendously respected by his peers and known for his dedication to others. And he knocks down the first one. And with all the injuries this year, the championship is really a matter of who's left standing. Yeah, I think there's some truth to that. Clearly, you have to be good. You have to be healthy. And some of that requires luck when you're talking about being healthy. And so it's obvious over the years that typically championship teams have been the most healthy team. And some of that is good fortune. But I think another part of it is the training staffs of those championship teams. They're critically important to preventing injury and then helping guys work through injuries when they happen. Now here's Thibel. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point of the game. Harden. The shot no good. And Milwaukee the other way now. It's off to Washington after this one, where they will face the Wizards. That'll be the first leg of just a two-game trip for them. Oh, a terrific move by Giannis to score. Anacupo's got nine points. From role player to MVP, Giannis is improving his upper body strength. Has really been a factor in his overall development. Now here's Harden. Ball with the screen on Peyton. Here's Harden. The rebound by the Bucks. Anacupo's got seven rebounds in the game. Peyton against Harden. Peyton passes to Anacupo. Move and he lays 
it up and in. And now a three-point Milwaukee lead. Boy, the overwhelming strength of Giannis just excels at fighting his way through the defense. Very impressive. Harris outside. Here's Embiid. Pulled the shot a little left. The bounce goes his way, though. Give him eight points now. You have to appreciate guys who can work the mid-range area. It's clearly how you keep defenses honest. And I tell you what, guys, I mean, with this combination of size and touch, he's a real threat from mid-range. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. And Embiid throws it down. I tell you, Embiid's teammates absolutely love setting him up. I mean, they know he's going to finish strong every time. On the wing, Holiday. Ball covering. Holiday passes to Anadokounmpo. Anadokounmpo is doubled. Outside Holiday. From behind the arc. Rebound by the 76ers. Embiid's got a rebound number five here tonight. Here's Harris. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. For Milwaukee, they've gotten three or four field goals in the second quarter. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Thanks, B.A. Well, Joel Embiid drawing comparisons to some legendary big men. He said, quote, I want to be mentioned as one of the greats. That's my goal. And obviously being a Hall of Famer. But you've got to take step by step, one day at a time. It's going to take a lot of work, and I'm willing to put it in, guys. Uh, he's well on his way, Ali. Thanks. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for Milwaukee. You know, in the early going, they've been effective scoring in the mid-range, and if it's falling, I say stay with it. And, of course, taking it inside, always a great game plan. And I'm curious if there'll be an adjustment from the defensive end. Maybe sag off some shooters a little. And that one falls for Ana de Kumpo. You know, Clark, only a handful of teams have won more individual MVP awards than the Bucks. That's really interesting, B. Hey, that you mention that. But that's how it goes when you have players like Kareem and Giannis walking through your door. And who knows, Giannis might have even more in him before he's done. Now here's Harden. Outside Tybalt. Harden finds Tybalt. And the three off target. The Bucks have gone a terrific four of five here in the second quarter. Out of the Kumpo, outside, pass to Middleton. On the wing, Holiday. Now out of the Kumpo. Shoots over Harden. And out of the Kumpo with the basket. On the assist by Holiday. Out of the Kumpo's got 11 points in the quarter. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Embiid, a screen on Anadokounmpo. Anadokounmpo against Harris. Late clock, the Sixers need to pull one up here. And Embiid throws it down. Embiid, what a show of force right there, going hard at the rim for the dunk. Anadokounmpo, outside. Anadokounmpo is doubled. Here's Middleton. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. And that knee injury sidelining Chris Middleton in last year's playoffs, Grant. How much did the Bucks miss his impact on the floor? Well, B.A., it was a huge loss. He's their main perimeter scoring threat. That's why his game complements Giannis so perfectly. That free throw good from Middleton. And legacies are defined in the playoffs. Game to game, what's the measure of greatness for a star player in your mind, Grant? Well, B.A., I think it's all about consistency. The great ones in this league historically bring it every night. They may have a bad game here or there, but for the most part, the energy, the effort, and the consistency is always there. Yeah, they're playing a much more physical game here in the second quarter. Well, it certainly appears to be the case. I mean, they've spent a lot of time at the foul line this quarter, and that's the result of attacking the rim and being physical. Embiid uses the glass on the layup. Embiid's got eight points here in the quarter. Impeccable mechanics this quarter. He's been perfect from the field. 
Ronaldo to Kumpo against Harris. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. And they seem to have a hard time picking good shots in the first quarter. But it's all coming together now for them here. Yeah, things are starting to look up. I mean, they're making amends for that slow start. Finding a rhythm right now. And last season, Giannis passing Kareem Abdul-Jabbar as the Bucks' all-time leading scorer. He wants to finish his career in Milwaukee, so that total bound to grow. Now here's Thibault looking for his first basket still in this one. Here's Embiid, and he banks in the layup. Well, they're still losing, but it's not because of him. He's been lights out this quarter. Outside Holiday. Back to Anadokounmpo. On the wing, Holiday. Anadokounmpo, a screen on wall. Here's Holiday using his post moves to get the two points. Holiday's got the second bucket on the night. The grab both Giannis and Kareem dominated the paint, but they get it done differently. Yeah, that they do. Kareem, possibly the best ever in the post, whereas Giannis might be the most dominant slasher and driver in league history. Now here's Embiid. 14 points for him last game against Dallas. <laughs> and he really dominated. Working hard to control the glass. Here's Middleton. After the Sixers picked up a basket a moment ago. Three-pointer. Rebound by the 76ers. And that'll be the fourth game of this five-game road trip. Wall attacking. Over Holiday. Wall no good. Milwaukee has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Kumpo with it. 21 points in the game. Holiday from long range. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Harden's got his fourth rebound in this one. From outside the arc. Knocks it down from distance. Harden's got five points. Not many guys have a handle like James Harden. Accepts and slicing up the defense. Timeout called the Bucks. Well, whenever you bring up the 76ers, you instantly think of Joel Embiid. Oh, no question. He's the face of this franchise. Embiid is as good as anyone in the league. Off the floor, Joel is willing to take the blame when things don't go right. That's who you want as a leader. He's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Ingles comes in for Middleton. Connaughton, he's checked in for Payton. And it's Matthews in for Drew Holiday. Matthews, pass to Portis, 
Pirates and outside. Here's Matthews. Six on the shot clock. Here's Portis. And the Bucks miss again. The 76ers have gotten seven of 12 shots to go here in the second. Out to the right wing. Here's Embiid. Donaldson against Maxi. Back to Embiid. That one's good. This game is all even. Embiid's got 20 points. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Donaldson up top. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Here's Matthews, defended by Harden. A moment now to see how the schedule is looking for the Philadelphia 76ers. On Monday, they'll go up against Gordon Hayward and the Indiana Pacers. And then on Tuesday, they'll be taking on Rudy Gobert and the Minnesota Timberwolves. And that game against the Trailblazers, that's a game where you'd be surprised to see them lose. They'd have to have a really off night for them to get upset there. The first free throw is good. Yeah, you know, Wesley Matthews has made himself an efficient scorer who also has gained a reputation as a good defender. And the 76ers making a change here. Pirtle's checked in. He gets them both. Philadelphia has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Pass to Harden. Pirtle with the ball. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. Harden's got three assists tonight. Really amazing body control by Pirtle. Just taking the hit head on and finishing through the contact. I love it. Here's Matthews. He's got five. Here's Ingles. And too long on the shot. And for the 76ers, they're shooting about 47%. A nice number. Maxi passes to Harden. He's got it. Three for seven now. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. The Bucks trail. Here's Matthews, pass to Ingles. Portis with a screen on Milton. Ingles against Milton. Four on the clock. Ibaka, the pass to Connaughton. Shoots over Maxi. And again, it's the Bucks missing. Now Philadelphia with it. Outside Harden. Pass to Milton, launches a three. It's hauled in by Portis. Boy, they dodged one there, guys. I mean, he got the wide open look that he wanted, just didn't knock it down. Up top, Ingles. There's the triple. Rebounded by James Harden. Harden's got six rebounds here tonight. Up top, Maxi. Back to Harden. And the foul on Serge Ibaka. That's his first foul. And the Bucks making a change here. Lopez is checked in. Pirtle finds Maxi. He trains it. Made half his shots. He's 5 for 10 now. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Here's Matthews. He's got five. There's a minute 40 left in the second quarter. Six to shoot. Ibaka's shot is off. 
One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. The battle to a standstill on the boards has really been something to watch. The game's not over yet. We'll see if one of these teams maintains more energy than the other going down the stretch. Now here's Maxine. He's got 16. Shoots over Covington. They grab their own miss. Hurdle. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. They have no answer defensively inside. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Here's Matthews. There's 48 seconds left in the second. Pass to Ibaka. Can they get it? And it's good on the lay-in. Matthews has a nice feel, guys, for when a teammate has a clean look, gets him the ball. Here's Harden. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And Harden, former league MVP, three-time scoring champ. Grant, the only thing he's missing is a title. Yeah, B.A., I mean, it would only help cement his legacy. For years, he'd carry his team only to run out of gas in the playoffs. Break, but postseason success counts for a lot when it's all said and done. That's good from Harden. Throughout years of play, one thing that has stayed consistent in the game of James Harden is remarkable ability to facilitate. And the Bucks making a change here. Holiday is checked in. Harden hits them both. From six men, his first few years to star player now, Harden's rise has been really fun to watch. He's willing to take on more and more responsibility each passing season. Now here's Lopez. 11 points for him last game against Orlando. Holiday passes to Ibaka. Over Tucker. Ibaka's shot is off. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. And guys, you know that rebounding is a huge part, a huge component of winning games. It's not a glamour stat, but it's necessary if you're going to be a winning team. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Well, thank you, guys. Doc Rivers here with us now. Coach, you're ahead at the half. What was the difference? We got stops throughout running a little bit. Uh, and then we had great spacing against the zone. You know, listen, we started making shots. That always happens. Sure does. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Allie. After the break, we'll see you right back here to begin quarter number three. Hi, everyone. Let's start things off by checking out the Player of the Month Award recipients. And do you guys agree with these Player of the Month picks? Yeah, for most of the part, I do think my name could be up there, too, though. What, what are you talking about? You don't even play anymore. Not in the league, but I dominated some pickup games this month. And now let's talk about Joel Embiid's first half performance, W-O-W. You've got to be thinking no one can stop him down low. I'm very familiar with that feeling. Every time you touch it, you believe you're putting the ball in the bucket. Ah, memories. Mm, I'll give you that, Shaq. But now you're Jay. That's another story. Appreciate you joining us. It's been our distinct pleasure, and I mean that. Let's now take you back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. It's been a clinic out there by Giannis Antetokounmpo. And given that he's just delivered a double-double through two quarters, I'm excited to see his stats at the end of the night. Yeah, he's got that locked-in look in his eyes tonight, and he's not going to start taking it easy. I think he's going to be going hard until that final whistle blows. And we've got second-half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. 
Middleton is the three with Giannis playing the power forward. Gary Payton, the second, is out there with Drew Holiday. And it's Portis in at the center position. And that's the group for Mike Budenholzer as we begin the second half. Outside Holiday, parked it down low that time, got hit with the three second call. The Sixers leading. Outside Harden. Pass to Maxi. Embiid, a screen on Payton. Here's Maxi. Here's Embiid. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. Embiid's got 22. Well, I tell you what, I wouldn't want to deal with Embiid as my assignment tonight. I mean, he's taking everybody to school. Stay out of the big fella's way because he's doing work. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Ryan Sixers head coach Doc Rivers earned the nickname Doc back in college for wearing a t-shirt with Jules Irving on it. In the NBA, he said, quote, the first game I started was against the Sixers. I went over and said, um, Dr. J, how are you? And he said, Doc, how are you? I said, no, no, I'm Glenn. But he said, no, you're Doc. And that made me feel like a million bucks. Guys. All right, thanks, Allie. The Bucks shooting 37% from the floor at this point. Back to Ana de Kumpo. And Giannis with the dunk. There are nights that Ana de Kumpo can reach a level few have in NBA history. The MVP feeling it tonight. Now here's Harden. He's got nine. Here's Embiid. Rebound, Milwaukee. Ana de Kumpo has got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. Holiday passes to Portis, and it's Harris with the rebound. The 76ers have gone just one of three in the second half. Pass to Maxi. The three ball doesn't go for him. This isn't how they wanted to start the second half. Only one of four. On to Kumpo inside. Harris on him. Out to Portis. Screen by Ana Kumpo. Holiday from long range. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Pass to Harden. Launches it. And another miss by Philadelphia. Halftime didn't do them any favors offensively. They've missed four of their last five shots. And here is Hanada Kumpo. Now here's Holiday. Hanada Kumpo, left side. Over Harris. Hanada Kumpo can't connect. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside here on the third. Pass to Harden. Harris lets the three fly. Rebound by Middleton. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Here's Ana de Kumpo. 11 feet out, and he hits him. Ana de Kumpo's got four points now in the quarter. You know, when this shot is available, Giannis takes it, and I like how simple he keeps things in doing so. Outside Dival. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. You kind of wonder where his head's at. The shot selection hasn't been there. And of course, that one was just crazy. Honor to Kumpo is doubled. Here's Peyton. Middleton against Thibault. Outside Peyton. The three. And it's Harden who pulls down the rebound. Harden's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And he's going for the oop here. Saw his teammate with the path to the rim. And boom, lobbed it up there beautifully. Very smooth catch and finish. And he chose the conservative finish with the nice easy layup, which was a good decision. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. Don't take possessions like that one all day. I just love the strong finish there inside. 
there. He's got that dunker's mindset, doesn't he? Always ready to pounce. An absolutely tremendous athlete able to go up and finish over the biggest of defenders. And the 76ers call time here. He's checked in for James Harden. Outside Maxi. Pass to Embiid. Soft touch off the glass. Embiid's got four points in the quarter. That's a nice soft touch from Embiid. Well, he's so smooth for a guy of his size. Scoring inside for him looks effortless. And the basket by Holiday. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Now here's Wall. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Embiid inside. Defended by Portis. And that one drops for him. And they keep on figuring out ways to force the rock inside and convert. Pretty clear. It's smash mouth basketball. Pound that thing inside. Middleton against Thibel. Middleton passes to Payton. Screen by Anadokounmpo. Holiday finds Anadokounmpo. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Holiday's got four assists in the game. The decision making of Anadokounmpo is really brilliant in a word. He knows when to spot up, he knows when to roll to the bucket off screen, and he knows when to give it up. At the offensive end, he's been assertive and efficient, guys. A big reason why they hold this lead right now. Out of the Kupo, outside. Pass to Peyton. And Tyrese Maxey gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Timeout called. Milwaukee. This is really amazing. I mean, from March 1st, 2014 to October 26, 2016, Joel Embiid didn't play in a basketball game. 31 long months rehabbing back and foot in.
And the Bucks with some changes. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Portis. Ingles comes in for Anadokounmpo. And it's Connaughton in for Holiday. Here's Peyton. Knocks down the long chain. Peyton's got his first three points of the game. You know, he attracts a lot of attention, and Lopez making the most of it there to set his teammate up with an open look. Pass to Maxi. Pirtle with a screen on Connaughton. Maxi passes to Pirtle. Shot clock at six. Outside Maxi puts one up from 19. They get the rebound. Second shot opportunity. Right side Tucker. Three pointer. That shot is off. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. Middleton passes to Payton. Outside Ingles for the lead. It's hauled in by the Sixers. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the board. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. What a nice shot by Milton. Milton. And the 76ers lead by four. That's not the kind of streak you want to be part of defensively. Tighten it up, fellas. Payton passes to Middleton. Fires from deep. And Tucker pulls it down. Philadelphia's got nothing to fall here in the third. 0 for 4. Pass to Maxi. Back to Wall. Oh, they get a hand on it. Tries to spin move. Rebound by Middleton. Middleton's got four rebounds now. Down low. Shots good by Connaughton. The defense couldn't collapse quickly enough. Boy, this offense has been dynamic and diversified. Just everyone sharing the ball and sharing the load makes you difficult to defend. Now here's Wall. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Middleton outside. Had a chance to tie it. Maxi with it. And Connaughton picks him up defensively to the middle. Here's Pirtle. And the dunk by Pirtle. You get open and Wall will find you. He's got one of the best assist averages in NBA history. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Now here's Connaughton. Taking a look at his production, averaging just over eight points a game. And here's Lopez from the arc. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Maxi's got seven rebounds in the game. Tucker with a screen on Connaughton. Here's Maxi. The bank shot, no good. It's impressive how they've overcome his cold streak tonight. Everyone stepping in to fill the gap. Payton passes to Connaughton. to Lopez. Clock at six. Now here's Ingles, covered by Milton. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Yeah, that's another miss for him. They're behind in this game largely because he shot so poorly. Back to Maxi. Outside Milton. 4-3. That shot off. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. To the inside. Middleton. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. And 
spend a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the 76ers. Well, they found success off the drive, creating a lot of buckets by getting into the teeth of the defense. And, you know, they've done a fantastic job scoring inside as a result, finding plenty of opportunities to cash in near the hoop. Ibaka, he's checked in for Peyton. Harris has checked in for the Sixers. James Harden comes in for Maxi. Middleton is most known, quite honestly, for his scoring ability. He's a sniper from outside that you can't afford to lose contact with. Now here's Harris. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Ibaka. Drew Holiday's checked in for the Bucks. Here's Harden. He's got nine. No good on the quick three. It's tough to get open in this league, and when you do, it hurts not to capitalize. Now Holiday. Pass to Ingles. Ibaka with a screen on Harris. For the lead! Ibaka's shot is off. Man, I can't believe he blew that gimme, guys. Well, I know he's frustrated about that. Connaughton against Harden. Up top wall. Here's Pirtle. And he battles for the ball. Gets his second chance bucket. pirtle has got four points in the quarter. And Pirtle is always, always a threat to come away with offensive rebounds because of his size, but just as important, his time. Now here's Lopez. An important role in this offense. Averaging around 12 and a half per game. Five on the clock. Ibaka with a screen on Harden. Back to Ingles. This for the tie! Pirtle with the block. Wonderful anticipation that time from Pirtle. Positioning himself perfectly to send that one back. The Sixers leading. And here's Harden. He's been an important part of this offense. Averaging around 22 points a game. For the 76ers, James Harden. At the line for two. And he drops the first. Harden hits them both. Holiday against Wall. Ibaka with a screen on Wall. And here's Connaughton for three. He can't get that one to fall. Joel Embiid, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Philadelphia. He's been doing damage on the offensive end all night. 28 points in this one. We'll be back in a moment. a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. You talk about painting a magnificent picture with that dime. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. Man, I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. On the court for Philadelphia to start the fourth. We've got Tobias Harris. Joel Embiid is out there with Jakob Pertl. Then it's James Harden. And it's Thibel in at the two. Harris passes to Embiid. Fader on the way. Milwaukee with the rebound. Ibaka's got four rebounds now. Thibel against Connor. 
Hamilton. Pass to Holiday. Out of the Kumpo, a screen on Harden. Here's Holiday. The shot comes out. Embiid with a nice defensive effort. Connaughton against Thibel. And out of bounds. Milwaukee will have it. Milwaukee with the ball. Outside Holiday. Tipped away. Oh, stolen by Embiid. Harris with it. And Connaughton picks him up defensively. Harris passes to Harden. Embiid with it. Harris down low. Covered by Connaughton. Harris, the shot is good. Harris has got his first basket of the night. Boy, this is the threat that Harris poses now. He's a scorer from every level. Inside, three-point land, and at the rim. Now here's Ingles. And on Kumpo, here we go. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. Wow, an emphatic two-handed slam. I tell you what, if he's got a few more of those in him, this lead will really start shrinking. Harris finds him deep. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Ooh. Embiid's got 30. He's certainly been their go-to guy when it matters most. He's trying to close this one out. Outside, Ingles from deep. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Holiday's got assist number five here tonight. Bible passes to Embiid. Three-pointer, Harden. Rebound by Ingles. You know, after connecting on one three-pointer in the first half, he hasn't netted another one since. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Six to shoot. Back to out of the Kumpo. Fires the three. And it's Harden who pulls down the rebound. Harden's got rebound number eight here already in the game. To the paint. Pass to Thibel. Beyond the arc. Unable to get that one. And Milwaukee the other way now. Out of the Kumpo. Outside. The shot's good. Antetokounmpo has got 33 points. You know, I think you're cooked the moment Antetokounmpo just gets the ball inside. I mean, he's got touch to go with his length and strength. Now here's Harris. That's good. From Embiid on the assist by Harris. Harris has got his third assist of the night. Antetokounmpo against Pirtle. Pass to Connaughton. Left side holiday. Back to Connaughton. Takes a three. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Outside Dibble. Up top Harden. Oh, sweet move. And it's good on the layup. You know, for all the points he gets from long range, Harden does just as much work inside. It's not easy to take any one area away from him because he's such an elite scorer. Holiday can't hit that one. And it's Philadelphia the other way. Harris finds Harden. Embiid, a screen on Holiday. Harden, the pass to Embiid. From downtown. Rebound, Milwaukee. Cooper has got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. On the wing, Connaughton, covered by Thibel. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Second personal foul. That's on Jakob Pertl. You know, no opponent is willing to give Anadokounmpo an easy look. I mean, they want to make it hard on him. He's going to get bodied up, and he's learned to accept that. Shoot 
And that one falls for Ana de Kumpo. He's a nightly triple-double threat, and I think Giannis is the most unguardable player in the game. Tyrese Maxey's checked in for the Sixers. No good on the second free throw. While he was born in Arizona, when it's time for national team play, Matisse Thibel suits up for Australia down under, a team he meddled with in 2020. Now here's Peyton. To the middle. That shot off the mark. Good work defensively by Thibel. Holiday against Harris. Pass to Embiid. Here's Harden. Here's Harris. Yes, and a nice assist from Harden. Harris has gotten four this quarter. Hey, it's fun to see NBA players like Thibault go their own way for national competition. Yeah, it is, B.A. I mean, that's part of the interesting fabric of the global nature of the game, particularly as it relates to the NBA. International tournaments are kind of like an alternate world, if you will. Guys who are NBA rivals end up being teammates, or their teammates wind up on the other bench. It's actually pretty cool to see. And that one falls for Ana de Kumpo. Hits both from the strike. Here's Maxi. Up top, Harden. Banked it in off the glass. Harden's got four points in the quarter. These defenders really need to man up, particularly in the lane. Pass to Portis. Holiday against Harden. The ball's knocked loose. Harden against Holiday. Shoots over Harden. And the basket by Holiday. Well, there's really a nice, smooth rhythm to Holiday's jump shot. I mean, the mechanics are solid, very efficient, and he gets nice lift on that J, too. Now here's Harden. Outside Tybal, to the wing, right side. Here's Embiid. Again, the Sixers score! Yeah, this period, they're letting him go to work, and it's paying off. Holiday passes to Kumpo. Now Holiday. Out of Kumpo, left side. Well, I tell you what, the long arms of Anta de Kumpo are really incredibly lethal in the paint. Sometimes the defense really has no choice but to foul him and then hope he misses.
That free throw, no good. And he's good on the second. Here's Harden. To the inside. It's hauled in by Portis. You know, even though they're on top in this one, you'd like him to be better out there because he's capable of being better. Sure would make things a lot easier, too. Now here's Peyton. Portis finds Holiday. And here's Peyton. Over Harris. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Pass to Embiid. And it's Gary Payton, the second with a foul. That's his first foul of the game. Here's Harden. Harris outside. Harden with a screen on Anadokounmpo. Just five to shoot. Harden with a pass to Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. This is why you put the ball in his hands. An accurate pass hitting a moving target. Pass to Portis. Holiday against Harden. Anadokounmpo, a screen on Harden. Holiday passes to Anadokounmpo. And the jam by Anadokounmpo. Well, that basketball IQ you see from Holiday, understated but consistent, so valuable, especially in these pick and roll sets where he just cuts up defenses. Now here's Harden. And then Harden with the jam! And Harden, an absolutely vicious dunker, terrific at bouncing towards the rim, but the epic throwdown. Oh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. The Bucks have gone 6 for 11 here in the fourth quarter. Peyton with it. Harden picks him up. On to Kumpo, a screen on Maxi. He nails it. That's his fifth make in 11 tries. I tell you, boy, he comes up big at the right times. I love his demeanor, though. His disposition says all business, and I'm ready for whatever is needed. Now here's Thibel. Pass to Embiid. Shoots from 14. Rebounded by the Bucks. On to Nakumpo as the Bucks have gotten 7 of 12 shots to drop in this fourth quarter. Peyton up top. Now here's Middleton. Now here's Ana Nakumpo. From deep. Middleton, no good. You know, to cut deficits, you've got to be making smart basketball plays out there. Taking care of the ball, it's not done by hoisting up bonehead threes like that. Now here's Harden. Here's Embiid. Giannis Antetokounmpo grabs the board. Antetokounmpo's got rebound number 15 here tonight. Pass to Holiday. Back to Antetokounmpo. Shoots over Harden. It's hauled in by the Sixers. One forty-one left to play in the fourth. Here's Embiid. The rebound by the Bucks. Out of the Kupo has got his 16th rebound on the night. Portis with a screen on Tyler. Holiday against Tyler. Holiday passes to Anna Kupo. Inside. The three is up. And James Harden pulls it down. The Sixers leading. 
side title. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Bucks. Fifty-eight seconds left in the final quarter. Harris against Alvin Kupo. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. How about this for a nugget? In clutch situations, Giannis's free throw numbers go up. I think that points to his concentration and focus. Good on the first, and that narrows the lead down to just three. There's something Giannis continues to work on, wanting to be the go-to guy at the line in the clutch. good as he hits both shots. Crucial trip to the line there. He's made this a one possession game now. They'll probably slow things down now. Burn the clock while you have the lead. I like that. Embiid. The Sixers again can't hit. Take what's available. Use the fadeaway when the defender's there on. On the wing holiday. Six seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Peyton. And knocks down the three. You talk about stepping up in a big way. Well, that was one two. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. Philadelphia calls timeout. They're down by one. There's 21 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. All right, guys, what's your take? It's always interesting to see what play a coach has saved for a situation like this. And we call those ATOs, or plays run after a timeout. They often make the difference in a game. catch up with Allie. Well, it was a great guy listened in on Doc Rivers' huddle, and he had plenty of confidence. He told his players, we've worn those guys down. We can take advantage of it. We're not going away until the last second. Let's see how they respond. Back over to you. Good job there, Allie. Thanks. There's 21 seconds left to play in the fourth. Harden with a screen on Peyton. Here's Embiid. Oh, no good! And there is a whistle. That goes on Tobias Harris. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he'll sit the rest of this one out. Yeah, now you had to do that. I mean, you can't allow them to dribble out the time. Exactly. You gotta stop the clock any way possible. And hope they alligator on a few of those free throws. No good as the first free throw misses. We'll see if he can hit the second. And he 
ends up making the second. And that'll put him up two. And Philadelphia calls time here. They're behind by two. Eight seconds left in the final quarter. Seconds left in the game. Maxi with a screen on Holiday. Can they tie it? And so it's Milwaukee who straight by with the win. That was an incredible night of hoops. A tremendous finish. They waited until the very last moment to seal it. And so many times we see these close games won by the home team. All right, let's send it down to Ali LaForce, who's with our player of the game. Giannis, a terrific comeback win. Talk about the composure this team showed. We stay together, we play together, we win together, we lose together. Even though we faced adversity, we came out, we were focused, we were able to move the ball, execute, and uh, we just stay together. A great team win. Congratulations. Thanks, Giannis. All right, Allie, thank you. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Clark Kellogg, this is Brian Anderson thanking you all for tuning in tonight. Last but not least, here is your new balance player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo.